Hi! Welcome to Grace and Recaps. Today, we will be recapping a 1997 movie entitled Starship Troopers. Warning, spoiler is ahead. Watch out and take care. The movie starts as a news reporter shows the bug war in full swing as the mobile infantry are currently on the retreat from their arachnid foes. The news reporter gets eaten alive on air before a soldier takes an almost lethal blow to his leg, then appears to be eaten. Flashback a few years, and we see our main characters in class as Johnny Rico is flirting with his high school sweetheart, Carmen Ibanez while both his best friends Carl Jenkins and Dizzy Flores watch on. Their teacher is a one-armed former soldier named Jean Radchek, who interrupts Rico's flirting to teach everyone a very valuable lesson. After class finishes, Rico goes to find out his test results, failing massively with a score of 35%, as Carmen scores an impressive 97%. To make matters worse, Carl displays Rico's test scores over the big screen to the full school and embarrasses Rico. Carl points out to Rico that it's just not Carmen who wants him, but also Dizzy. Though at this point, Rico only wants to be with Carmen while he treats Dizzy like his younger sister. Back in biology class, Carmen throws up while dissecting an alien bug. Dizzy laughs at her and is seen cutting the bug up just fine. After school, Johnny goes to Carl's house to see if he is psychic, just like him. Johnny fails miserably, while Carl displays an exceptional psychic ability. The day before graduation, Rico and Dizzy are shown as teammates in a futuristic football game. Dizzy and Rico work really well together and win the championship. During the game, we are introduced to Rico's rival, Xander Barklow, who is seen flirting with Carmen. Before prom, Rico is confronted by his family as he's intending to enlist. His family is not pleased with his decision and threatens that he would be disowned if he followed through with it. The prom takes place that night in which Rico has a heart-to-heart -heart with both Dizzy and Jean Radchek. The following morning, Rico, Carmen, and Carl decide to enlist. Carmen gets the role she wants to join the fleet and becomes a pilot. Carl gets enrolled into a military intelligence, and unfortunately for Rico, he doesn't qualify for anything other than the mobile infantry. Going their separate ways, Rico is disowned by his family. Carmen tells Johnny she loves him for the first time, deep down knowing she probably doesn't. We join Rico at basic training. It becomes apparent how tough you have to be in the mobile infantry. This is shown as Major Zim, the drill instructor, breaks Recruit's arm just as Dizzy Flores shows up. Major Zim challenges her to unarmed combat, and she agrees. After that, she gets knocked unconscious by Zim as Rico looks on, smiling. During basic training, we are introduced to Rico's new right-hand man and new best friend, Ace. Ace is a fast-talking fool who wants to make a career in the mobile infantry. At the same time, Rico rebuffs Dizzy's advances. We see a glimpse of Carmen's flight training and it just shows how reckless and talented of a pilot she is. As she joins her first crew, she finds her co-pilot to be none other than Xander Barkalo. Rico, through a bit of luck and support from Dizzy as training progresses, finds himself as the new squad leader. Unfortunately, through some poor judgment, one of Rico's troopers is killed in an accident. Carrying the weight of the blame, Rico is demoted and sentenced to 10 lashes, but everyone still respects him. After receiving his punishment, Rico decides to quit. But before he leaves, a meteorite strikes the earth which had been dispatched by the bugs, hitting his hometown and killing his family. Rico has his papers torn up as the Federation prepares for war. Carmen dumps Rico in a letter after starting a relationship with Xander. Before their first combat drop, Rico meets Carmen on her ship. It's here it becomes apparent what happened between her and Xander. A fight soon breaks out but is swiftly broken up by everyone. Rico and his friends are going down in the first wave on Klendathu. After killing a few plasma bugs, the arachnids swarm the mobile infantry, literally ripping them to shreds. All while the fleet is being destroyed by plasma light from these giant artillery bugs. Back on the ground, most of Rico's squad have been wiped out as Rico covers their retreat. 
As we see Rico taking down several bugs, Rico is struck in the thigh, the same person who was struck at the start of the movie. It's here we see the death of Johnny Rico. The screen goes black as he's about to be killed. Back in space, Carmen searches the list of the dead to find out that Rico supposedly died. She's comforted by Xander. But then we find out that Rico is still alive. He was rescued and while his wounds are being healed in a healing tank, he is visited by Ace, Dizzy, and a few others. It's decided by the Federation that the first attack was a disaster and a new strategy is needed from here. Rico and the others join a new squad. Their lieutenant turns out to be none other than Rico and Dizzy's former science teacher, Jean Racek, who is a lieutenant in the mobile infantry. During their next drop, the MI bomb most of the arachnid before mopping up the remaining bugs. It's here Rico starts to show how he has started to mature into a great soldier and leader. He does this by destroying a giant firebug in single combat and taking the position of corporal as the former had lost her arm during the attack. As night sets in, Rico, under the guidance of Ratchek, realizes that life is short and spends the night away cuddling with Dizzy. But, before passion could commence, a distress call from Whiskey Outpost comes over the antenna, and the squad has to move out, but not before they have a chance to consummate their relationship. As the squad heads to Whiskey Outpost, the trooper on the radio is taken by a new flying arachnid. Lieutenant Ratchek kills him, putting him out of his misery, before telling the squad that he would expect them all to do the same for him. He then makes Rico active sergeant and tells him to take point. The unit reaches an overrun Whiskey Outpost. As they are securing the outpost, they find a general hiding inside the compound, the only survivor. They send a message for pickup from Fleet as they find how the bugs gained entry into the outpost through the floor. It's also revealed the bugs have been sucking out the brains of the infantry, and that's who actually sent the distress signal, drawing them to the outpost as an ambush. Back outside the arachnid attack, thousands upon thousands swarm the base. It's here our valiant roughnecks make a last stand. Wave after wave go down but it looks hopeless for our heroes. The general is killed to the amusement of all, and as it looks hopeless, a dropship arrives for retrieval. It's here we lose Lieutenant Ratchek. But to make it even worse, as they retreat, Dizzy is stabbed from behind by alien talons. The drop pod piloted by Carmen and Xander get away just in time, getting them all to safety, but only as Dizzy dies in Rico's arms. Carmen finds out Rico is alive. Back on the starship Roger Young, Dizzy has a funeral. Military intelligence commander Carl Jenkins arrives, promotes Rico to lieutenant, and gives him the roughnecks and orders them back to Plant P to capture a brain bug. Back on Planet P, Rico and Ace realize how young the new line of troopers are, but, in a twisted turn of events, Carmen's ship goes down. Both her and Xander make it to an escape pod before crashing on the planet. Here, they fight off a few bugs before appearing to be killed. As Rico is searching for the brain bug, he gets a feeling Carmen is still alive and how to get to her. He leaves his squad, just him, Ace, and Sugar Watkins to find Carmen. When they find her, it's too late for Xander, who has just had his brain sucked out by the brain bug they had been sent to capture. They rescue Carmen Ibanez, but Watkins is mortally wounded and sacrifices himself to help the others escape. Back outside, news comes out that the brain bug has been captured. It's here we find out that the bug was cornered and captured by now Private Zim, who had busted his ass back to Private so that he could fight in the war a new hero of the Federation. Carl Jenkins arrives to read the mind of the bug. He announces the bug is afraid. As the troopers celebrate, Rico, Carmen, and Carl walk off arm in arm as Rico asks Carl if he was the one who told him how to find Carmen. The movie ends with the hope that mankind can defeat the bugs once and for all. This movie teaches us all about hope. Hope can be the beacon for many things, 
as well as the secret weapon into defeating our hardest battles, even against aliens. Thank you so much for watching! If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more awesome recaps. If you have more movies that you want us to recap, please leave it in the comments. Thank you again for watching!